itches and scratches it's the dandruff diva here back with another video of my scratching routine now um i know that you guys have been waiting for another scratch video which i'm bringing to you right now and as you can see it's wash day i'm zooming in y'all can see it's wash day so we are going to give you a full effect of what it's like for me to scratch once again so um if you follow my channel, I hope you're subscribed. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like these videos that I put out so I can continue to give you more content and really give you guys what you need as far as scratching. Um, I've listened to everybody. Everybody says stop talking. So once I get into the thick of what I'm supposed to be doing, which is scratching for y'all, I will not speak at all and I will let y'all see the whole process. Um, as you see, uh, we have... I've had tapins, so I put in tapins in my hair. This is actually my real hair, but I wanted to give you a little bit of how I took out the tapins because you know there's a lot of YouTube videos of people putting tapins in. It's my first time trying. I loved it to death, um, but I wanted really to show you how I took it out. Now, for the most part, um, you know my hair has dandruff, and the dandruff has allowed the tape to be really dry to wear. Some of them were just coming out on their own. But not everybody has my texture here, and not everybody has dermatitis. So I'm gonna show you the correct way to take out the tape-ins. So I left one tape-in uh, in my hair so that we can go through the process together. Also, I wanted to tell you before we start that, that um, a little bit about me is that I was born with sickle cell anemia. Mm -hmm. which is a blood disorder, where sometimes I have pain from time to time, and I wear oxygen. Now, I don't wear it all the time, but I wear it when it's, you know, when I need it. Um, I wear oxygen when it's necessary, and sometimes, you know, if I'm feeling a little winded, um, I have a nasal cannula, which um, is connected to a machine. Excuse, there's a little makeup on it, it's not dirty. Um, I put on makeup, so sometimes this makeup gets on my nasal cannula and it just helps me breathe better. So if you see me wear oxygen throughout my videos from now on, um, just know that I am okay, nothing's wrong. I um, will do a you know, get to know me video where you guys will understand a little bit more about my health conditions and concerns. So right now I'm gonna put on my oxygen. I just tuck it between, behind my ear and basically that's it so don't be alarmed i'm fine nothing's wrong with me i just wear oxygen at home um to keep my uh my cell my blood cells um very oxygenated so that i don't feel sick or i don't feel winded so back to the hair okay so i am going to now um quickly show you the tape in that's in here and as you can see um some new growth has happened um, when I put in the tape in, they recommended, I, I watched a, a YouTube video, that's how I was able to understand how to put it in. They recommend not putting it all the way to the scalp. So what I did was I put it um, maybe a little less than an inch away or half an inch away from my scalp and that helped me kind of put the hair up in one, you know, put the hair um, back if I wanted to. So I left this one in to show you guys how um, to take out the correct way on how to take out a tape in. So I'm gonna begin before we start scratching. I'm gonna begin with tying up this hair on this side. Uh, tying up this hair. And see my oxygen came off. Okay, and what I did was I bought on Amazon it's Big Kitty's um, uh, remover, which is the tape remover. So it comes with a um, release residue remover. Um, and it also comes with a uh, number two remover, which is the actual tape remover. So this one is for the tape. And this one is to get off any extra residue that's not coming off. They also recommend a tail comb. Because I don't have a tail comb, I'm just gonna use my little brush. Um, my little brush is 
gonna have to work for now. Um, I also bought the tape, the sticky tape, which I'm gonna show you, which is um, if I wanna reuse and put back on the tape on the hair. Here's the hair that I had in, okay? It comes, I bought it on Amazon as well. It's called Goo Goo. It was life-changing. I can tell you that I have been wearing clip-ins for a long time and this taping method is, the, not only is it, was it the best method, um, but it was the, so the easiest method to apply and also um, the easiest method to when I wanted to wear my hair in different styles. So if I wanted to put it in one, you would not tell. Um, I did put a little video where you guys can see me manipulating the hair. Um, just a quick short uh, clip for right now until um, we get our views up and we uh, get more subscribers. So make sure you subscribe and tell everybody to subscribe, share this, this video um, so that we can get more subscribers so that I can be able to actually go live. Um, unfortunately, I can't go live. So all my videos for right now um, have to be taped and edited down. Um, and if I do do a short video in the moment, it is just, I'm only able to do a quick short video and show you. So unfortunately, I could not uh, show the whole process, but I will make a video for it, um, edit it down and, and post it uh, when I do reapply. So this is how it comes. I'm gonna take one down really quick just to show you. So as you, can, you see how it is, this is actually two. So there's one here on the top, and then there's one stuck on the bottom, and it's sandwiched together. So I'm gonna show you. So out of the out of the bunch, one is stuck with tape right here, and then the other one is also stuck with tape um, on it, so that it's sandwiched together like this. And in between is a small strand, like let's say about this much of hair, okay? This much of my, of my real hair is sandwiched in between the two to create this, okay? So um, I just thought it was a great method. It was my first time and I loved it. So let's begin the takeout. So before we begin the takeout, I'm gonna get my small little comb and I'm just gonna make sure that my hair is fully combed through because I wanna make sure that there's no tangles. My hair and the actual, um, tape in here is is completely combed through all right so then I'm gonna take this saturate one side saturate the other side and just leave it there for 30 seconds okay so we're gonna leave it just like that for 30 seconds. Now, as you can see guys, this feels like greasy. So it feels like it's like a, a sort of grease. It's not actually, um, they say you can use alcohol. They say you can use um, any type of liquid. Uh, some people use water as well. But this seems like it's an oil. So you don't have to rub it in. I'm just choosing to do so. So we're gonna give it um, a quick 30 seconds. In the meantime of us giving it a 30 seconds, I'm also gonna show you this little quick um, shampoo that they give to help take off the residue. As you can see, there's a little tape residue. If, if you wanna shampoo it, you just stick a little bit on top and it'll get it off. So I'm going to actually wash this hair. So this hair that I just took out of my head, I will be washing it 
um, blow drying it and conditioning it, and then using the tape to reapply the tape to it. And then once it's reapplied, then I'm going to put it on. So I will go through that process as well with you guys and put a whole video up of me doing that. Okay, so we've given it 30 seconds. Here's our tail comb. So what I like to do is try to start separating it, right? Take my tail comb and as you can see, it's starting to lift on its own. So I'm just gonna do this and it's starting to come off by itself. Do you see that? And then I take my own hair and I kind of I kind of push whatever hair. So this was in there. So I'm taking the tail comb to push whatever hair that's in there that's mine out. Just like that. Do you see that? Boom. Okay, good. And it feels slippery. So look, it came off. And just like that, okay, the first piece is off. See that? The first piece is off. So there, um, this piece here has tape on it. So I'm gonna show you how I got rid of that. Then we're gonna take the second piece and all I do is try to grab it and then take my tail and pull off the pieces. Here's my hair. So that was a really, really, really easy way. And if you can see, none, uh, only a little bit, and not really much of my hair has come off. That just one little strand of my real hair. Do you see that? I mean, barely, you can barely see, but um, it's barely n nothing. This is as much hair. Um, and I'm gonna post out of all of them that I've taken out. I took a, a, a screenshot of the hair, all the hair that's come out of my real hair from the, the results of taking these out. And I will post that, um, I will insert right here. So you can see exactly um, how much hair has come off. Let's get ready for what we came here for. It's dandruff time. <laughs> it's dandruff time, y'all. Okay, so let's get it. Let's brush this hair. I'm gonna come a little closer to the camera. And help you guys so you can see.
Do you see that? And sometimes that happens. And sometimes I bleed. Because either I'm scratching too hard or there's just so much dent, uh, dermatitis buildup. And when I finally uncover it, it's like pulling off a scab. Mm -hmm. Get that. So, I know the how I have a little camera help for the back because I've listened to your request and you guys want to see better back pictures of the back. So I'm going to make sure that we bring in a little help for the back camera-wise. Okay. They like singing, into the thick of it, <laughs> into the thick of it.
this is gold. Dandruff gold, you guys. how big my dandruff can get. Look at that. See that? Mm. Huge. Trying to get another fake one for you then. Another big one. See that. Real good build up to do this for you guys because I want you guys to get the good stuff.
separate this hair now so I can give you the middle and the back. Okay. So we're gonna go in to the middle and the back. Okay. We're gonna tie up this part. Thank you.